Hi, I'm Abby Moore from the Mississippi Watershed Management Organization, and today we are going to install a rain barrel in my backyard. Rain barrels are a really great stormwater BMP. They're really low cost, they're easy to install, and they're easy to use. Um, basically what a rain barrel does is that it captures roof runoff from my roof right here that runs down this downspout, and then we're going to install the rain barrel right here so that it captures that roof water and I can use that to water the plants. I've got native plants, I've got shrubs, I've got grass in my backyard, and so I use that rainwater to water all of that stuff. It's a great way to save some of the potable water, not use that to do the watering, and also to use uh, stormwater runoff as a resource instead of a waste product. So today I'm gonna install this rain barrel, and what I have with me are a rain barrel, a very simple one, um, there's lots of different kinds of rain barrels, so if the aesthetic of this doesn't appeal to you, there's lots of other options out there. There's also opportunities to make your own rain barrel, um, and so there's lots of options depending on what works best for you. So I have my rain barrel. I also have some patio pavers here that I'm going to use as a base for my rain barrel to raise it off the ground a little bit so that gravity can help the water flow out the bottom when I decide to use it for watering my plants. I also have a hose extender that I'm gonna use um, once the rain barrel is installed. And I've already used my rain barrel for, from past seasons, so I've already cut my downspout, but if you haven't done that yet and you need to cut your downspout to be the right height, a hacksaw or a tin snips um, are really easy tools to use to do that. So, today I'm gonna start um, by identifying this really great spot in my yard you're going to want to find a place that's a, got easy access, an easy place to put the rain barrel that's also close to plants that you need to water. I've found through experience that if you put it too far away from the plants that you need to water, sometimes you forget or it's just not easy to use that rainwater. So choose a really convenient place for you to install the rain barrel. So we're going to do that right here. So I'm going to come up to my downspout here that I'm going to use and I'm going to start by taking off the downspout extension. Place that to the side. Then, as I mentioned before, I actually had cut my downspout last year when I installed this here for the first time, so I already have a cut here, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. And I'm going to save the elbow because I'm going to want to use this to direct the water into the rain barrel. So we're going to just go ahead and put that onto the bottom of the downspout so that when the water comes down the downspout, it goes out here and we'll install the rain barrel so it catches the water right about here. So a couple of things before you install your rain barrel. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a pretty level spot here on the ground. Um, and then you're gonna definitely wanna build up a base. Patio pavers, cinder blocks, whatever you have, pallets, um, would all be great ways to build up that base. But you wanna make sure that you have enough gravity to help that water flow out the hose that's at the bottom of the rain barrel. So I'm going to use my patio pavers and I'm going to start stacking them up. I'm going to actually just start by putting in a couple so that I can make sure that they're in a good place so that the rain barrel is appropriately distanced from the house so that it captures the water and make sure that they're level. All right, so I'm just going to test it. Make sure that placement is good. All right, it looks like it's in the right spot and it's a good distance from the house. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and use the pavers to build up the base until the bottom, or the top of the rain barrel, excuse me, is right about here. I'm going to just check and see how that height's looking. Okay, it looks like it probably could come up one more paver.
All right. So do make sure that your base is really stable. You wanna make sure that it can support the weight of the water and not be in any danger of tipping over, especially as it fills with water. You wanna make sure that the downspout is lined up in such a way that the water is going directly into the rain barrel. You wanna make sure the screen that covers the opening is clear of debris. And this is a really important feature to make sure that you're keeping debris out of your rain barrel. That'll make the water flow better for one thing. Um, and then I also make sure that this overflow hose, which is attached at the top of the back, is coming out um, in front here. And that's gonna be a really important thing to make sure is in place and is clear. Um, because as, you, as this rain barrel fills up, let's say you aren't able to use all the water that's in there before the next rainstorm, and the capacity of the rain barrel is filled, you wanna make sure that there's a good place for that water to overflow to and flow away from your house instead of towards it. So make sure that that's in place. And then I also have um, the hose, and this is what you're actually gonna use to water um, plants and things with. And so this has a little valve, turn it off and on. And I actually really like to use a hose extension on here so that I have a little bit of flexibility for how to use or where I can use my water. And I usually keep a watering can or something really close by so I can fill that up and then take the can around my yard um, to f water the plants. So when you're ready to use your rain barrel after a rain, you're just gonna wanna have something to water. So I'm gonna water the plants in my yard and I'm gonna use um, a rain or a watering can to do that. So I'm just going to put the hose in my watering can and then I'm gonna turn the valve on my rain barrel and we're going to just let the water flow out into the watering can and then I will use it turn that off once it's full and then I will use this to go water my plants rain barrels are relatively easy to maintain but it's important that you periodically come check and make sure the screen that keeps the debris out is clear so that water can flow through there. You wanna make sure your overflow line is connected and back and um, accessible to the outside. And you wanna make sure that the water is still able to flow freely through here. So checking that stuff periodically is a good idea. Then in the fall, right before uh, the first threat of freeze, it's pretty important to take your rain barrel out um, because you don't want it to freeze. If there's water inside your rain barrel, when it freezes, it will expand and potentially crack your rain barrel, making it so that you have to buy another one. So keep your rain barrel in good shape by making sure to take it down before it freezes. And all you'll need to do with that is basically reverse what you saw me do before, where we'll take the rain barrel out of its place and we'll put the downspout and the downspout extender back in place so that uh, melting snow in the fall and the spring and any other rains can be um, directed away from your house and into your landscaping for the rest of the year. What questions do you have for us about rain barrels or other stormwater BMPs? Leave a note for us in the comments and be sure to like, share, and subscribe.